The U.S. government is moving one step closer to getting rid of TikTok for good. After the House Energy and Commerce Committee unanimously approved a bill Thursday that would give the app's Chinese parent company roughly six months to sell or face a nationwide ban here in the U.S. TikTok blasted the legislation calling it an attempt by the U.S. government to strip 170 million Americans of their constitutional right to free expression. ABC's Jay O'Brien is on the Hill for us. So, Jay, two questions. First, are you on TikTok? And, and second, how soon could we see this bill come to the floor and will it pass? I am on TikTok. You can't understand the platform without being on it, Terry. J-O-B TV, if you want to look up my TikTok. Um, and which we report the news there. ABC News is on TikTok, too. The president is on TikTok. He got on, his campaign got on TikTok during the Super Bowl. And that's why this somewhat came out of nowhere. There were those efforts months back to ban TikTok. They largely fizzled out in Congress. And then just this week, there was this groundswell of momentum on this legislation that is aimed at TikTok. As you said, it seeks to force a sale of TikTok away from its Chinese parent company. You asked about a vote. This cleared a House committee yesterday with unanimous support. Republicans and Democrats on the House Energy and Commerce Committee getting behind it. Republican leadership in the House have said they're going to put this up for a vote early next week. And it is expected to pass in the House, Terry. What kind of uh, path it would have in the Senate is still unclear. But this is something that House Republicans agree on. The White House is on board with. On the other side of this, President Trump has posted that he's against any kind of legislation aimed at TikTok. That's interesting. Trump is against it. You know, as, as the parent of you know, kids who are just kind of rising into the social media age, uh, I, I might be in favor of banning all of it. But TikTok in particular, you know, what are they saying about this legislation? How are users reacting? Reacting. Well, you put that statement up on the screen a moment ago of TikTok's response. Really what they're harping on is that it would deprive, in their view, 170 million Americans of the app if it were to be banned. And it would only be banned, by the way, again, if its Chinese parent company under this legislation, if it were to pass, did not sell the application. They're saying it would damage, damage business owners, damage artists, and the list goes on. TikTok also sent its users a notification this week that... Uh, push them to call their members of Congress and express support against this legislation, tell them not to vote for it. Congress members' offices got deluged with thousands of phone calls, Terry, of young people lobbying against this legislation. Nonetheless, it looks on track to pass the House. The question is, what will the Senate do? And the president should get to his desk. Uh, all right, Jay O'Brien. And what is it? It's J-O-B-T-V? Go to the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.